This is 521, and we're to calculate V naught here, V naught. And remember that this, this is two volts here, so it also here must be two volts there. So two volts and two volts. And we know about the current here and here. That current is zero. Okay, so the current here and the current here is zero. And we need to figure out I1. So if I1 is coming here, it is also going up here. So this is also I1 across this resistor up here. So doing this math, we can say that, that I1 is equal to this voltage, which is four volts, that is four volts here, four minus two divided by this four kilo ohm resistor, that's four times 10 to the third, and that is also equal to this voltage, two volts, minus our V naught, our V out, divided by 10 kilo ohms. Oop, 10 to the third here. So what do we have here? Um, let's see, let's move this up. So we can do this math, this is two there, and these two should cancel each other out. If you multiply this one up here, it should cancel. So what we have is two divided by four equals two minus V naught divided by 10, which then is 20 equals eight minus four V naught. We have 12 equals negative four V naught. So this V out here, this value then comes out to be negative three volts here. And we found that by taking the current and setting those equal because we know that the current is zero coming in through here. So that is our solution to problem 521.